Hey, this is Michael M. Hotep, founder of the African History Network, host of the African History Network show. I'm a talk show host, researcher, lecture writer, and historian. So we are back with uh, Kenya K. Stevens, CEO of the Progressive Love Academy. And we're going to talk about a very special course that she offers called How to Communicate Your Most Intense Emotions Without an Argument. <laughs> now, Kenya, this sounds like this is something uh, that would be very important for couples. All yeah. right. So so explain um, uh, of this to us and the, and the benefits. What, 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 explain to us this course. Absolutely. My husband and I used to fight a lot. Um, I've been married for 25 years. And in my 20s, I didn't really know how to express myself. I didn't know what I wanted, what I needed to feel better when I was emotional. And my husband, frankly, was afraid of my emotions. So I know a lot of men who are like afraid of feminine emotion, like they'll run away, they'll ghost, they'll just get out of Dodge. I guess y'all think we're going to explode. What do y'all? I mean, <laughs> see, see, there's this myth of this angry black woman also. And, and, and you know, we deal with the uh, negative stereotypical images in the media and movies and things like this of ourselves. Yes, yes. So in relationships, you know, that can creep into that. Right. Well, me and my husband uh, since wrote a book called Up Level Communication, okay. where we support our, you know, we support people, couples in having these intense conversations because, you know, a person's emotion have to be heard. You know, right. like men in our culture are taught to keep their emotions a little bit suppressed. Right. So if they need to cry, they need to scream, they need to shout, they need to throw something. They really don't do it. And mm -hmm. they really, you know, I feel like they get sick around holding mm -hmm. in emotion. Well, women don't hold in the emotion as much. And it feels like we're quote unquote angry because we're actually expressing these emotions. The problem with the way we express them is we don't put no container around them. It's like <laughs> letting out a wild animal in your house. And so right. the book and our system supports us in understanding how to have a language framework that works. Okay, now one of the things you talk about is with fulfilling communication comes deeper intimacy. With yes. fulfilling communication comes deeper intimacy. Talk about that. Well, I also teach tantric sex and orgasm. And I was saying how women don't trust men to mm -hmm. hold them, to hold the emotion of that orgasm. It's the same in the conversation. You know, we don't trust that the man won't run away if we're angry or run away if we cry or run away. And so, no, they, they will run away if we don't right. know how to have the conversation in a way that makes them stay in a way that makes them hear you and listen and respond in the ways that you need. <laughs> okay. So um, when in relationships, when people communicate intense emotions, right. you ask the question, do you end up in an argument? Okay. Right. And you talked about oftentimes women don't have a container around their feelings and things like this. Right. right? So, you, you talk about emotional expression in this course. Yes. You say emotional expression is often not well re not well received by others, especially when expressing feelings that may be a result of actions others have taken that hurt your feelings. Right. So the argument happens because of what? Because I'm blaming you for how mm -hmm. I feel. I'm shaming you for how I feel. And I'm acting as if what I'm saying is the fact. You got home at 7.15. No, it was 7 o'clock, baby. I told you I'd be home by 7. But it was 7.15 when you walked in the door. That's not true. That's just, I'm blaming you. I'm accusing you. I'm shaming you. And so, I mean, this happens every day. I mean, I'm right. really expressing to women how to get that across without shaming or blaming your partner. I can give you an example of that. But okay. we have hundreds of examples in the book. Okay. <laughs> So one way that I, I teach women to communicate to men if they want to be heard is here's how it does. You walk in the door at 715, Michael. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. You think it's seven. I think it's 715. You late. So I'm going to tell you, I'm not just going to come up to you and come out my mouth and start telling you what I feel about that. First, I'm going to ask for consent to vent. So if okay. I want to vent to you, I'm going to ask you, Michael, can I share a vent with you? This is just my ego speaking. This mm -hmm. is not, you've done nothing wrong. This is just how my ego is feeling. I'm having a little problem. I'm at a level five. Could okay. you hear my vent? Right. So right. how would you feel if I came to you like that rather than just coming to you out of my mouth, whatever I want to say? Okay. Okay. So it's, it's more channeled and 
it's it's more focused. Yes. Okay. As it just as opposed to an explosion. <laughs> yes. Yes. And e you know, even on the opposite spectrum, some women don't communicate at all, and the man asking, "What's wrong?" Nothing. Right, and then it builds up. It builds right. up over time, and then it just explodes, and you have no idea what happened. You exactly. know, you just say, "Pass me the remote." Then all of a sudden, they start talking about stuff that happened 15 years ago. You know, you. it just Thank explodes. You. Right, and so psychologists will say, "Well, we have a communication problem," but they have never identified what it is. Our system up level is an indigenous way to communicate, where we identify the problem. The problem is we're venting without container. We don't okay. know that it's just our ego speaking. We don't understand that it's just our perspective. Nobody's lying. Women are used to accusing men of lying. You lying, mm -hmm. you lying. That's not true. They're not lying. They're sharing their perspective while you have your perspective. You see that? Okay. So yeah. So you know, and this is this is interesting because uh, the each person gets to share their perspective yes. without. Um, Invalidating yes. the other person's perspective. Yes, sir. Okay. That's exactly okay. it. <laughs> and, right. and the person gets to feel heard, seen, and met. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. if I share my perspective, even if I do it in a very relaxed way, Michael, you was late. I don't mm -hmm. really like when people are late. That's still accusing you. So you're going to defend yourself. No, I right. want to. That's what starts the back and forth. We want to end the back and forth. English is a language of war. Our culture is a language of war. We've learned a language of war. Right. And so up level provides a new language system for our people, for anyone who wants to use it. OK. All right. And this course is available at uh, Progressive Love Academy dot com. Um, this is the uh, how to communicate your most intense emotions without an argument. And I'm going to flip over to uh, your uh, website here and show it's us up people. Com. You can get it from Progressive Love Academy, but specifically uplevel.com. Okay, U-P-L-V-L uh, dot uh, com. That's right. Uplevel.com. All right. And I'm just going to show the cover here um, so people can see this. Uh, they'll know it when they see it here. Uh, how to communicate your most intense emotions without an argument, yeah. a virtual workshop, a virtual yeah. workshop. So this is 60 minutes. So expect, give people an overview of this. Uh, I mean, explain to them what, it, what it's like, the actual workshop. Absolutely. When you leave this workshop, you will know how to express even your most intense emotions. And you're going to feel as if your partner has listened to you. He did not or she did not debate you. He or she did not argue with you, tell you you crazy because you have an emotion. You're going to learn how to ask for exactly what you need to feel better. And this is what the um, the workshop is about. It really builds intimacy. It builds connection. It builds trust between couples. Okay. And we just want to go through these four here quickly. The person may be so emotional expression is often not well received by others, especially when expressing feelings right. that may be a result of actions others have taken that hurt your feelings the right. argument happens because uh one the person may be feeling guilt and shame right. uh two the person may be feeling unable to successfully soothe you so uh, explain that that because that's a new one yeah because men in particular because i'm a woman i'm speaking from my experience they don't want to approach a conversation where they don't feel successful like they can't successfully help you to feel better so if you're if you approach them in a way where they feel afraid, they mm -hmm. don't feel like they can help you feel better. You don't know what you need to feel better. You just want to argue all night. They don't want to deal with that. And so, so I learned that the hard way. <laughs> so, you know, that. OK, so that reminds me of my parents, because my parents have been married over 50 years. And I remember when I used to live with my parents, my, my mother would talk about things like talk about things at work, et cetera. And she would say she because I know she would tell me she said she said she just wanted to get off her chest. Yeah. Where, whereas my dad is coming from the perspective of, OK, she wants him to solve the problem. Right. 
Okay, so is this what you're talking about? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. And especially if the problem is you. You see what I'm saying? Well, you, 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 well, you, well, the problem wasn't him. It's something at work. But right, it was something he, at so work. He, he's coming from the perspective, okay, you're telling me about this problem. So you're telling me this problem because you want me to solve the problem, whereas right. she just wanted him to listen. Right. So there's a process called empathy. And okay. empathy, well, empathy is a way that you can relate to a person. No. Your dad didn't know how to be empathetic towards your mom. Oh, that sounds so terrible. Tell me more. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been in situations like that. That's ugly. I know that must have felt crazy. You know, that's a way of having empathy toward a person who is venting instead of trying to solve their problem. Most people don't know how to have empathy. They say that a lack of empathy means you're a psychopath. So all of us are psychopaths at some level because we have not learned empathy in this culture. Up level teaches us to have empathy for others, even if the complaint is about us. So uh, I think in this culture, oftentimes um, men are taught to solve problems yes. as opposed to just listening. Yes. And, and we think that we're helping when you come and tell us your problem. We think we're helping with trying to help you solve the problem. When really, you just want to vent and you just want us to listen. Right. Right. And it's even more complex than that. We may want a specific reply. Mm. <laughs> we may want you to say some specific words that will help us feel better, but we don't tell you what those words are. Right. We want to tell you should know what we want. And See, so you know, we have to be mind readers. Right. right? And, we're, and we're not fair. psychics. That's not okay. fair. <laughs> not fair. So we're I'm not being on Warwick, right? So. No, no. And a lot of relationships end because of this. Exactly. So it's just a lack of tools and training. So that's the training we provide over at Up Level. Okay. So that's very interesting because it's like, because uh, I remember, you know, I, I remember in a previous relationship, right? So uh, my, 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 my girlfriend at the time would get on me for assuming certain things. Right. Okay. And then, it, it, you know, it's really interesting. So let's talk about this for a minute. <laughs> okay, so she would she would get on me about assuming certain things, but um, then she would do the same thing. Right. She would assume certain things. Right. Okay, I, I remember, for example, she went on a girlfriend's getaway, girlfriend's weekend. Okay, and then I'm asking, okay, so it, it was it was uh, I live in downtown Detroit, so it was in downtown Detroit. So I was like, I was like, okay, so why can't we meet each other? Blah blah blah. She was like, you, you know, well that we. That goes against the rules of the girlfriend weekend. It's supposed to be no man. I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to know what the rules are? I ain't never been on a girlfriend's weekend before. I ain't never read a head handbook about it. I don't know what the rules are. So first you tell me don't assume. Then you assume I know the rules of the girlfriend's weekend. I don't. Right. Right. <laughs> we should have come to you for a relationship counselor. But oh, anyway. <laughs> these, these kind of communication faux pas are very common and they literally cause breakups. Exactly. You know, it's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> Another thing that causes a yeah. big problem in relationships with communication is the processing of the emotion. Okay. So nobody knows how to process their emotion. They think they know. They say, I'm not talking to you. I'm processing. I'm processing. No, you're not. You don't even know. Yeah, what you know, I heard, I've heard that word a number of times. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell does that mean? I know what the word processing is. I mean, but is it's what what is it you have to process? I know right. what a food processing is. I mean, what right. <laughs> come on. So a lot of people talk about I'm gonna take space and process. The up level system provides actually what is processing. Processing is the process of asking, how did I create this? Can you repeat after me? Everybody watching. How did, how did I, I create this? So this is what processing means. It should. It not should. in the West. In the West, it means nothing. Just like love means nothing. Just like these, all these terms, forgiveness means nothing. It, these are just nebulous terms. Okay. In my system, it means something. There are three steps you take to find out how you created any scenario in your life. Wow. So you're going to take personal responsibility for everything that has happened in your life. Okay. And that is what this system teaches you how to do. Okay. Now the person may be afraid of emotion or conflict. Yes. Uh, okay. So I think we talked about that. The person may not be a skillful communicator. Okay. Yes. Now, now I, I've experienced this in a previous relationship before the last one where it's, it's like they don't communicate and then it's, you have to draw the information out of them. It's like pulling teeth, you know, and then, um, 
it's, so talk about this. How can people become better communicators in, in relationships? Well, they have to start trusting that conflict doesn't lead to violence. In the African-American community in particular, because we've grown up under such distress and stress and parents who are fighting and throwing stuff. I've watched my father throw a television down the stairs at my mother. For instance. I mean, we've watched some crazy things in our family units. And so sometimes we don't communicate because we are afraid to amp up the energy because that always led to violence. Or it always led to a beating, or it always led to a problem, you know. And so a lot of people don't hey, want to. Hey, re hey, repeat that. Your your screen froze up, uh, Kenya. Okay, repeat oh, that again. I, I was just saying that a lot of people grew up in violent, volatile scenarios, so mm -hmm. they don't want the escalation to happen because in their mind that could lead to danger and violence. So this system supports them in handling that trauma because this system won't lead you to violence. It is a scripted way to communicate with your partner. Scripted. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I think that helps because oftentimes people may not have the words to express, express themselves right. and they, they need help uh, in that area. Okay. They so yeah. Say it again. Say that again. They need a script. They need a yeah. script. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm uh so we talk about um uh let's see uh the person may not be skillful communicator you'll gain the confidence and clarity to discover what exactly will make you feel better yes um benefits of the workshop health and happiness intimacy better communication stronger humans talk, talk about these um oh absolutely we want intimacy with our partner but we don't realize why we don't trust them we don't realize why we mad at them we don't realize because we haven't communicated. We haven't gotten to the bottom of how we feel and gotten that out. We don't even feel like we have space to do that. So that's a part of intimacy. A part of intimacy is being able to bottom out and tell your partner every single word of how you're feeling and have them hold you there. Very few have that skill. And so that opens up intimacy. When people stop having sex, 40% of married couples today do not have sex. They're totally sexless. 40%. And it's because of that intimacy issue that starts with communication problem. So that's what I mean by intimacy. There. So, so, so they have a communication problem and then this leads to other areas of the relationship and this leads to sex. So they, in, they have sexless, sexless marriages. 40%. That's almost half, Micah. So we have a big problem in this scenario. Somebody on your chat is asking, how could you bring this to your wife if she's reluctant? If uh -huh. you show her this page, the workshop is something that you can watch and see if it would be something that y'all can watch like Netflix. Uh -huh. My libraries are like Netflix. They're more entertaining than Netflix. So when you show your wife something like this, you've already watched it. So you already know what to expect. She's going to just be like, oh, this is a date. Like, yeah, it's a fun <laughs> watch it doesn't call her out it doesn't call anyone out it delivers in a very entertaining way a system where y'all could communicate better okay and this is uh at uplevel.com uplvl.com yep uplevel.com up we're, we're gonna post this here um this course is at uplevel.com as well okay and this is um how to communicate uh, this deals with how to communicate your most intense emotions without an argument, how to communicate your most intense emotions uh, without an argument. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, let me scroll back down. OK, so we have the benefits of the workshop. Uh, this workshop will support you in expressing intense emotion without causing an argument so that you can get your needs met. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be sued. You deserve uh, to be met. OK, I want to tell that to the men, especially because men sometimes feel like they're not supposed to have emotions and they're not supposed to feel heard, soothed and met. They just got to mm. power through it and just be right. strong and just act like, you know, but that makes them withdraw from the relationship. Then they wonder why they end up hating their partner It's because mm. they cannot express anything to their partner without their partner getting an attitude. Right. They right. can't say it without their partner getting an attitude because they don't have this framework. And, and, and it's a very challenging thing, but it is easy to learn once you have a system and a script. 
<laughs> okay. And, and, and this is what uh, you do in a course. You provide them uh, with the script. Okay. Yes. So how to express intense emotion without causing the argument. So one time payment of only $47. Um, it's a 60 minute uh, course, 60 minutes to gain confidence, expressing any intense emotion in a way that gets your needs heard. Yes. All right. Uh, so we have it right here at the website. We'll post the link again. Your emotion is not the problem. So oftentimes, okay. So one, um, I, I remember in the previous relationship, um, uh, my partner, uh, she was talking about love languages and, and different people have different love languages. Okay. And we express love differently, et cetera. Right. Um, but your emotion is not the problem. Um, many of us believe emotion is the problem. We worry that we're just too emotional and too much. And oftentimes, like in this society, women get labeled as being emotional. Women get, we see the movies, we read about the books, etc. So is this, is there a certain amount of deprogramming that has to take place? Yes. Uh, okay. Talk about that. Uh, dealing with uh, women are being emotional. Yeah, emotions are 100% natural. And both mm -hmm. men and women are highly emotional. Humans are a highly emotional species. So this system helps you to um, uh, uh, um, accept the emotions. So when I used to be angry or sad or whatever, blah, 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 I wouldn't want people to know. You know how they say, oh, yeah, just put on your game face. Don't let nobody see you cry. Don't let nobody see. You. No, that's right. not healthy. It led me to cancer. It leads people to heart illnesses. It leads you to health problems. If mm. you try to suppress the fact that you are an emotional being and that you have emotions, yes, you mad. You mad. It's okay. And so this system helps you to be mad. Stay mad and express that vent just put a container around it. Michael, you've done nothing wrong. This is just my ego speaking. I'm very angry. I'm at a level eight. Can I share yeah. it with you? <laughs> and then you would say yes or no. That's part of the script. You would say yes or no. And you have an option. You don't have to hear my vent. Mm -hmm. But if you say yes, this system shows you how to express that anger. I'm going to express anger. And all you're going to say when I'm done is thank you for sharing. How can I support you? That's the system. The system is so wonderful. Kids need it. I do it with my teenage kids. I do it with my husbands. I do it with my partners. I do it with the, my partners, other women. This is something that is so urgent for us as a community. I do it with my parents. Right. You, you, you talk about here. Um, the problem is that we are not taught in this culture to handle the emotions of others or ourselves yes. um and it, it goes on to say here uh, i'm going to scroll down common emotions anger sad anger number one issue sadness anxiety boredom resentment jealousy disgust insecurity frustration but we break down westernized paradigms that prevent you from in the course you break down westernized paradigms that prevent you from understanding healthy ways to communicate emotion we yeah. support you with the tools to communicate and ask for the soothing you desire so yeah. to talk, talk about this western paradigm because all this stuff it, it requires like really unlearning yes. a lot of what we've been taught in this culture Yes, just the Western paradigm. The whole Western paradigm is to suppress emotion. That's why, I mean, the Western paradigm, when we talk about persons of European origin, this is not a people who can deal with like loud stuff or, you know, emotional stuff or, you know, hot sauce or, the, you know, really uh, uh, expression, colors, dance, you know, so the culture is about Victorian Christian values that shh. Be quiet. Don't be, you know, be conservative. That, so we that's 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 a paradigm. That's not a reflection of what all humans are about. OK, yeah. when you are a more emotionally colorful person. That doesn't mean you're bad or negative. That's only means you're bad or negative in the Western culture. So we got to right. get out of that paradigm because it's, it's not good. It's not even good for people in the West because those people are going in shooting up schools. Because they mm. couldn't express an emotion, shooting up a party, shooting up a church because they have right. held their emotions. 
And it's a toxic masculinity that holds its emotions. And it's a toxic femininity that doesn't know how to contain and put a container around the emotion so that she can express it and get soothing. Wow. <laughs> wow. So uh, it, once again, this is um, re requires um, relearning, requires yes. unpacking, uh, relearning. Now, how long have you been? Just curious. How long have you been offering this course? Um, we've been offering this course is new, but I wrote we wrote the book up level in 2019. So, okay. so hold, hold it up higher on the uh, sure people okay. up, level. up level communication. Yes. OK. Uh, so cool. I, <laughs> I, I just always ooze over this because people all around the world have read this. It has changed their relationship. It has supported their lives. So this course is new. This course is something that we did because people read the book and wanted more. More, more, okay. more. Yeah. Okay. So this this course came out of the book in the in the response you got from the book, et cetera. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me just look at a, a little bit more of this here. Um, and you you go on to ask the question, and I'm going to turn back on the screen share here. So uh, we have people on Facebook and YouTube uh, watching. Um, are you very emotional inside and feeling alone or shut down? Uh, do you have a partner you love, but feeling unable to get your needs heard, seen and met? Uh, you want to be honest and open in every relationship, but feel afraid to express yourself fully. Yeah. Are you looking for creative ways to express emotion without causing tension in your relationship? So t talk about this for a minute. Then I have a follow up question for you. Absolutely. Most people are feeling alone, even if they're in a relationship, especially if they do not have a container to express their emotions. Um, when I met one of my uh, partners, he is so he was so much uh, against wanting to hear my emotion and he was against sharing his own emotion. And it made him very lonely in his life. He wasn't getting none of his needs met. He wasn't even expressing what his needs were. So it was a very challenging thing to get him to be vulnerable and open up. But once he did, he felt that connection to me, to others that he had not felt, even to his own child, because he was so t packed in, you know, and that right. made you feel alone. So in, in this society, um, we raise boys and girls differently when it comes to dealing with their emotions yes. and we raise boys to not cry oftentimes not show emotions um and i i think yeah now men by nature are protectors in various societies there are hunters hunter you know uh you know hunting game and things like this so uh men are looked at as protectors so uh there may be a time to cry but when he has to protect his woman <laughs> that's not the time to cry i don't think but <laughs> how do we balance the way we raise boys and we want to raise boys to become men right. uh how do we raise boys to not to to be able to express themselves and be in tune with their emotions, mm -hmm. um, but not, you know, uh, breaking down and crying, you know, when when <laughs> when when a commercial comes on. How, how well, do we do this? Well, first of all, you've got to go ahead and delineate feminine emotion and masculine emotion. Okay. A masculine emotion is punishable by law. So, mm -hmm. you know, when we say that we want men to be emotional, we're not just saying they want we want them to express the feminine range or the feminine spectrum of emotion. We want them to be able to express the masculine uh, range of emotion, masculine emotion. You know, if you're shocked, a masculine emotion is to fight, fight or flight. A masculine emotion mm -hmm. is to yell, to punch a wall, to, you know, to hurt something. Right. These things are normal masculine responses, but we don't let our son have those kind of emotions. If my son is mad at me and he wants to say, I hate you or something like da, 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 something, I allow him to do that. Why would I shut down his masculine emotion? Then when he try to get into feminine emotion, which is really the, the, the going downward and inward and withdrawn and I'm just not speaking, I'm depressed and I'm crying. We don't let him do that either. 
masculine emotions are punishable by law. That's not fair. Then they get into the feminine emotion and withdraw. We say, oh, you so you withdrawing. You're ghosting. You so feminine that we don't let them be in either one. So it starts by letting boys have masculine emotion. Let them punch something. I let my sons go get some bottles and hit the side of the house in a safe manner. Put on some glasses and some hit something. Okay, get that exertion out. Emotion, yes. You know, I've seen. um, I was watching. (laughs) I was watching the episode of uh, Walker Texas Ranger, and it, it they had Hulk Hogan on. And um, he had a youth center for children and um, he had two rival youth gangs there. And uh, the leaders of the two rival gangs got into an argument and they were about to fight. He said, OK, you want to you want to fight? You want to sell this? We're going to do it the right way. So they put on boxing gloves and headgear and they let them fight. But it's it's they didn't kill each other. They didn't brew. They, they, they weren't bleeding, anything like that. You know, you see what I mean? But they got that they got that aggression out yes. and then they became friends. Yes. OK, so is that something like w- what you're talking about? Absolutely. With up level communication, my husband can uh, communicate in a masculine, emotional way to me. I'm not going to shut him down if he needs to do name calling, if he needs to yell, if he needs to stomp. That's the masculine emotion. If I want men to show their emotion, I can't make them show it in a feminine way. They okay. want to show it how they okay. want to show it. So- so the emotion in a woman manifests itself differently than the emotion in the man. Ashe, but women are allowed to express masculine emotion. If mm-hmm. I hit you, that's okay. If I yell at you, that's okay. But mm-hmm. if a male expresses masculine emotion, now I can call the police and send him to jail. That's not okay. fair. That's not right, fair. No. Okay. Now when you say <laughs> when you say if you hit me, you mean yeah. with your fist? Yeah. You know, I mean, if if I hit you uh-huh. and if I express masculine emotion or I throw something across the room, you're not going to call the police. You don't feel threatened by me. OK, but when you when you say hit a man, you, you OK, so we, we got to be clear on what we're talking about, because, you know, you got you've had football players killed by their girlfriends and things like that. So right. you're you, 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 I, you I don't think you're talking about um, trying to beat up somebody. Or beat somebody in the face, draw blood. I don't think that. I hope it doesn't. I'm saying about. that women can uh-huh. express masculine emotion, right? But men cannot, right? But when when women express masculine emotion, so you're not talking about somebody trying to beat somebody or domestic violence. That or, happens. Every, that happens every day. What I'm saying yeah. is the way that up level resolves that is okay. you set a container and share your emotion. Oh, you okay. So it. so there there um, this only there rules and how you allow that anger to express. There, there yes. are rules that the couple agrees upon. Yes. Okay, I see what you're and saying. It's, okay. And it's not even that the couple agrees upon, the system gives you a way to express rage in a healthy manner. The, the up level system. The up level system. So okay. if you want to express rage, which you must. Okay. If you're enraged at me, Michael, and you my man. I want you to express your rage to me. Okay. Okay. And I accept that. I don't want you to sugarcoat it. I don't okay. want you to not say it. I don't want you to hold it in. I don't want you to think you're negative for being angry. You're not. Anger is not a negative emotion. Okay. As long as it's controlled, as long as it's channeled. Okay. I would say channeled. I wouldn't say control because I do okay. want to hear your anger. If okay. you're yelling, that's okay. You set container. Yeah, the, the container, right, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, very quickly here. So once again, uh, this is available at uplevel.com, uplvl.com. Uh, mm-hmm. How to communicate your heaviest emotions. Um, how to communicate your heaviest emotions uh, without uh, without a fight. Now, very quickly, I want to go back to uh, the screen share here and let me see here. Where is that? Okay, let's pull this back up. Um, I love the fact that not only were we able to discuss difficult and highly charged topics with each other while learning more about ourselves as individuals and as a couple, 
we were given highly effective tools to help navigate and integrate the thing that we learned in our daily life. Okay. Just talk about that for a minute and anything else you want to leave us with. Charged topics. That's exactly what we're saying. Highly charged topics. That's what we can communicate with up level without this problem of fighting. I can yell, I can cry, I can scream, I can, I, you know, I can do all of that. And then I know how to ask for the supports that I need. And my partner knows how to deliver them. It's all scripted and it works, whether you are a person who gets too intense or a person mm -hmm. who doesn't express because you're afraid of conflict. It can work for you. <laughs> I love it. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Well, people visit uh, UPLV.com, uplevel.com. You said this is also available at the uh, Progressive Love Academy as well. ProgressiveLoveAcademy.com. Yes. Yep. They can go to ProgressiveLoveAcademy.com. But if they want up level go to uplevel.com and they'll see there's a free workbook there if they just want to print out the free workbook on how to do it there's also classes there i mean it's so wonderful i'm going to throw in for the african history network the mm -hmm. um, masculine emotion class the one where i talk about how it's not fair how we treat men and we calling them toxic they toxic 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 no they're not the culture is toxic because it doesn't let them express in a masculine way or a feminine way. It's going to degrade them no matter what they do. So, so, I, so this is the culture that is toxic. So you said the masculine emotion. What was it you're throwing in the masculine, the masculine what? emotion workshop? I'm throwing that in for anybody who gets how to express intense emotion without an argument. It's forty seven dollars. It's wonderful. Okay. And I'll put in another course with it. OK, so so they're going to get two courses for uh, those with the African History Network, our listeners. Uh, very quickly here, you talk. So I, I, I hear in social media and all this toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity. OK, I don't know what the hell that is. But you said what did you just say about toxic? It doesn't exist. Toxic masculinity doesn't exist. The culture is toxic, not the men, not the women, not the humans. It's what we've learned that is toxic. And up level helps us to unlearn the, the bad habits that we've learned. OK, so it, OK, so toxic masculinity doesn't exist because the culture is toxic. Yes. OK. And the, the, the way men act are like a byproduct of the culture, the programming from the culture. You so we it. have to reprogram um, the way we're taught in this Western society. That's right. We program that. OK. All right. All right. So that's something new for me, because I, I mean, I hear toxic. There's a whole bunch of stuff, all this stuff floating around. A lot of this, people know me. I don't deal with that. I deal with history and politics and law. All this. I don't have time for all that. But <laughs> it's good to talk to you again, Kenya. People visit uh, uh, uplevel.com as well as Pro progressiveloveacademy.com. Uh, check her out uh, uh, and uh, register for this course. And we'll talk to you next time. OK, thank you. Thank you for uh, having me, Michael. No problem. Peace. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody. Um, be sure to follow us on our Facebook fan page, uh, The African History Network, The African History Network, and uh, my YouTube channel, Michael M. Hotep, I-M-H-O-T-E-P. And um, The African History Network show, we're on Monday through Friday, uh, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time, and Sundays, uh, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're on uh, six days a week. Okay. And you can also uh, register for an online course that I teach as well. Ancient Kemet, the Moors and the Ma'afa. Understand the transatlantic slave trade where they didn't teach you in school. Uh, Ancient Kemet, the Moors and the Ma'afa. Understand the transatlantic slave trade where they didn't teach you in school. This is a um, 10 week online course I teach. We deal with thousands of years of history and what led up to the transatlantic slave trade taking place also. But be, but be sure to listen to our daily show. Uh, we broadcast on social media so all the all the shows are archived um as well and we're on uh nine different audio podcast platforms iheart radio cast box uh, fm player tune in and broadcasts like this we put an audio podcast format as well okay and if you want to support the african history network uh dollar sign the ahn show through cash app dollar sign the ahn show through cash app or through paypal paypal.me uh, forward slash the AHN show. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped 
somebody I know I learned some things uh, from it as well. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this will help you in, in your relationships. Remember, right now it's corrects wrong behavior. It's not over till we win. We're kind of forever. And we'll talk to you next time. Peace.